Each and every one of you has a vocation. You have pursued that vocation through your years here, through much hard work, no doubt with much questioning and uncertainty, as well as success, through the final push to commencement, and now here you are. But now, here's a correction to what I just said. I said you have pursued your vocation. That is only secondarily true. What will carry you through whatever lies before you is this primary truth. It is not you who have pursued your vocation. It is your vocation that has pursued you. When my bishop recommended that I go off to seminary, he put forward three seminaries, and BTS was one of them. We came for a visit, and we were immediately just taken by the, the beauty of the campus and the openness of the community here. I'm being able to sit in classes and meeting some of the professors. It was just this feeling of openness and welcoming from everybody. And my wife and I, we knew. I would advise students who are thinking about coming here to think about what you bring to this next part of your life, the one year, two year, three year program. What do you bring to it and what do you need to get from the school with which you're considering? And you want sort of a nice balance between a place that, for, with whom you feel familiar and you think will be in some ways comfortable and you have to be able to live there for a couple years, but in other ways that will really challenge you. Um, will give you something that you can't bring to this project alone. I was actually on executive council uh, for science, technology, and faith. And this was one of the meeting places where we were able to get together. And this was before any type of discernment. So when I got here for that meeting, I just kept saying to myself, I could see myself here, which was a weird and scary thought because I wasn't planning on doing this. I came onto campus and was very welcomed by the students. They took me down to the Flamingo for a cup of coffee and um, it was a great chance to meet people from all the different programs. I met some of the MA students and some of the MDiv students and there were even a couple who had graduated in years past who came through. And I got a really good sense of what the community is here in terms of the students who were here before I came, while I was here, and then what it might be like to be a student after graduation. One exciting feature of Virginia Theological Seminary is the opportunity to explore the entire world of theological education. You'll encounter professors uh, which are experts in their field. You'll live in a community which is diverse and different and interesting from people throughout the country and throughout the world. And there will be opportunity after opportunity to learn, to grow and be refreshed. It is an exhilarating place to be. That's what makes it special, that we are so committed to being in community, living with each other, praying with one another, and knowing one another in this deep way. Yesterday, I was sitting down at the refectory, and one of the professors came and sat next to me. And we had this wonderful conversation, not really about class or theology, though I was so ready to have a conversation about theology, but she was more interested in my life, what I was doing. Where am I in the process and how she could continue to pray for me? All faculty come here knowing that they're gonna host a formation group in their home once a week, lead a smaller group of students in some, some of the deeper questions in the context of their home, those questions that you can't always get to in a classroom experience. They come knowing that they're expected to worship with the community once a day, and they come knowing that this is a residential experience where they themselves will for 24 hours a day, live a life that's part of the larger BTS community. When you get here, you really dive in and you really um, start to understand and reflect on your tradition, um, the Bible that we all believe in, the God that we all believe in. They do that not only in an academic way, but in a devotional way. Well, BTS is a theological treasure box. You come here and you are able to study with professors who love their subjects and love their students in an environment that says yes to going deeper with God. The church needs leaders of congregations. 
and we're tired of people saying that they can't afford to come to seminary. So while a number of institutions are talking about tuition free, we've gone a stage further. We're not just tuition free, we're accommodation free, we're meal plan free, and we provide a contribution to healthcare. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that there are leaders of congregations that can make a difference to the future of the church and to the world in which we're called to serve. The seminary believes that you should be here and you should invest yourself and your time and just be present with what you're doing. And I was able to do that. Um, and I don't have to worry about what's going to happen afterwards. Especially going into ordained ministry, I feel it's very important that the students are just focused on learning and being formed. VTS forms seminarians by everything that we do here, from the chapel services to the classes to convivial conversations around lunch. All those things fit together and at graduation time, by a mystery that I think only God can fully explain, they're ready for what they will be facing. And most importantly, they're ready to keep growing in ministry. They know their Bible, they know theology, they know church history. It's so good to see that there from the old chapel. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. I've been called after my time here at BTS to serve as a chaplain at uh, a K through 12 Episcopal school in Honolulu. The school is Iolani School and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about the prospect of serving in that community. I look forward to um, taking what I've gotten here at VTS and, and putting it into the field. VTS gave me the space to really discern where I felt called. And I ended up doing campus ministry for the beginning of my time as an Episcopal priest. I served for six years in campus ministry. And because of the network that I had with VTS, because I knew other VTS alum who were serving college campuses, I was able to call them and to get advice about how do I even do this work. The, the faculty, especially at this institution, have been really important to my own continued formation, my own continued vocational exploration. I know that when I go to chapel now, because of my colleagues and their, their children, that when I'm planning chapel, that I really need to think about what is it like for a five-year-old or six-year-old to be in this space, and how are they going to get a sense of what it's like to be in the presence of the sacred. And that's changed me. After I graduate, I will go back to Myanmar and I'm hoping to work at a Holy Cross Theological College back in uh, Yangon, Myanmar. And then I'm expecting to be a spiritual uh, director or like guidance in the seminary. There are many benefits about coming to Virginia Theological Seminary. This is a space that's committed to formation of human lives. It is an opportunity for a person to bring their brokenness and for that to be healed. It's a space in which you can grow academically and think about the hardest questions with professors that are simply outstanding. It is an opportunity for you to be moulded by the Holy Spirit. It is a space in which one connects with a network which is simply enormous, the largest in the Episcopal Church. And it means that you have throughout your ministry friends and colleagues in ministry that you can draw on, be shaped by and be supported by. It is simply an outstanding opportunity to become a person that God's called you to be and to make a difference to the future of congregations and to the wider church for decades to come. I was just overwhelmed by VTS and I still think that I am overwhelmed. Sometimes I'll walk through the chapel gardens and just can't believe that this is... I mean, when I look at this place, I think that I'm surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses. I think I got a little teary-eyed because I do think that this place... This is the, this is the thin place, I think.